Hey guys, what is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Weekly Vlogs. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are, just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? No matter what the scars, no matter I finally got one of my packages in the mail. I did a lot of ordering like two weeks ago. I still have more stuff coming. I didn't I don't think I've ordered anything else since then. But yes. So I ordered this off Etsy. Um this is a loose pigment, which I've never used loose pigment before. I'm super excited. It's just like a little stack of loose pigment. These are supposed to be super bright. They're beautiful. Okay. That's my little Monday got my package thing. So I had some issues with shipping and they actually sent me a second one. So they all came up on the same day. They both came here on the same day. But the seller actually threw in some free loose pigment. Um, these are actually like glitter pigments. So I'm going to link their shop down below because the customer service was great. And I really appreciate this. So if you guys want to try these out, we'll definitely do this in the vlog. Um, trying these out together So yeah, they sent me another one and I'm super super like Impressed with the customer service that they provided so I will definitely recommend the shop for you guys um, I found them on Etsy. Okay, so last week I tried the king cake coffee cream or whatever from primal um, And this week I am gonna try the birthday cake one <laughs> My dog. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> He's like, no. Drop it. Drop it, Tanner. <laughs> this time Drop I it. added heavy cream to the thing to try and make it froth more. We'll see if that helps. I got my cup. <laughs> my dog is not letting go of that slipper, by the way. Okay. Okay, so we decided to take Tanner for a walk um, because he hasn't been for a walk in a while and I don't know, we just feel like taking him for a walk. So that's what we're doing. Did you ever stop and think Tanner likes to stay on this line for some reason. He'll stay by it and he'll stay on it. Come on, Tanner, over here. Like every time I start recording, he, he gets off of it, but like he's staying on it for the most part. <laughs> Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting. He's doing it again <laughs> with the line. All right, so we decided to take Tanner to the pet store to get him some bones, and I seen this little shark outfit it's so cute he's like I don't need that I don't need that huh okay so I came home and I actually changed um, because when you're with a dog and that's super hairy uh, your clothes tend to turn completely black or completely if you're wearing black with a dog that's completely hairy your toe oh my gosh I can't talk when you're with a dog that's hairy and you're wearing black your clothes turn this the same thing so whatever um i'm getting ready to make our pre-workout so i am trying redcon one's uh total war tiger's blood uh the lady at gnc was like uh this basically tastes like red and like to me that's saying fruit punch so i'm hoping that's what it tastes like also so you guys remember me talking about that lady from gnc right i went to a totally different one so this one this gnc that i'm talking about is in a place called Avon Commons, right? Well, I was looking up hours for GNC because me and my mom wanted to take it back and we didn't want to go to that specific one, right? And that specific one in the Avon Commons area um, had some reviews up and I was like, oh, so I clicked on it, you know, cause maybe, I don't know, I clicked on it. Tell me why most of the reviews are basically saying the same thing that I've said. Like, this lady doesn't know what she's talking about. And it was just like, 
wow and she still works there some of the reviews are from four years ago and she still works there that's crazy and I work with three of the companies that are in GNC and you're gonna badmouth the products like that absolutely not oh I was expecting it to be red it's like ew I don't like the way that looks but yeah tiger's blood It's got like a coconut flavor to it. If you've ever tried a Tiger's Blood snow cone before, we have a place called 808 Shaved Ice in Lakewood, Ohio, and Strongsville, Ohio, and they have a thing called Tiger's Blood there, and that's what this tastes like. Like, it doesn't taste bad. I like it, it's just not my favorite. I'm gonna drink it for this workout, and then we might I don't know how my mom's gonna feel about this. It's good, it's just not for me, you know what I mean? So now we gotta try and find another one. But I think I'm gonna order samples. So I said in my, I think my weekend vlog or whatever that I have some stuff that I need to clean up in my room. It's just a mess in here and I hate when my room is a mess like this. So I'm cleaning it. Um, I have to kind of hurry up with it though because I have an eye appointment tomorrow and hopefully I'll get new glasses. Um, I don't know if I'll get them tomorrow. I don't think I will, but I will be able to pick out new ones. So like my glasses, um, they look dirty all the time and I promise you I clean them like every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. It's just, I haven't gotten new glasses since 2019, no. It was before that because I just went to the appointment. I didn't actually get a prescription. So yeah, I need new glasses so, so bad. So I have an appointment tomorrow really early in the morning and then we have some stuff to do tomorrow. So we're gonna do that. But I just wanna clean this up real quick um, because a part of me is telling myself I'm gonna wake up and do my makeup, but I don't know how that's gonna go, okay? We always say we're gonna do stuff like that and it never happens. So I am just cleaning up my vanity area um i'm gonna wipe it down real quick and it was like a lot messier there was stuff all over the place i washed my makeup brushes and everything so by the way this is for my ferret if you see that and you're like oh, what is that it's for my ferret it's a syringe uh for her medicine oh my gosh my mirror needs clean too let me get let me just do all this so so much better okay so i'm gonna go take a shower now and then I'm gonna go to bed. So see you guys tomorrow. All right, hey guys, it is now Tuesday. Um, so I said I was gonna be up to, just period. I said I was gonna be up to do my makeup and I ended up waking up late. My mom, so my our appointments are like one right after the other. Um, and my mom like busted into my room and was like, oh my God, you gotta get up. But I was like, what day is it like and then I actually have a bag of stuff that needs to be taken to Goodwill that's actually like in my front seat it's just like a huge garbage bag of stuff um, it's just easier to transport it's a lot of stuff so that's why it's like that um, and yeah I want to talk to them about getting glasses like this um, because I have to wear these over my actual glasses because I can't see without them I forgot my Fitbit cool um so I want to see if they can make like prescription glasses like this so that way I don't have to wear two glasses because I feel like it looks stupid like that but I can't have the Sun in my face like that when I'm driving so yeah I go to GNC because um, I'm taking that pre-workout back again and we're gonna get a different one we got to stop at Goodwill real quick drop that stuff off um, and I think I need to run to Target maybe um because the Goodwill or the GNC that I'm going to in the Goodwill there's a Target by it and my sister's birthday is coming up so I want to look and see what they have um so yeah it's kind of cold in my car so I'm gonna okay so I just got done in the eye doctors and I just ate my breakfast real quick so my eyes are like annoyingly dilated right now so everything is like super bright 
I finally ordered some aviators like this, but with my prescription in them so I don't have to wear two glasses at once because this feels kind of silly. So that's nice. Yeah, so here's a picture of the glasses that I chose. These are so different from what I would normally choose, but I'm really excited because I like them and I think they're going to fit with my style. So good. So, yeah. Okay, so the plan for right now is we are going to go take these clothes to Goodwill um, and then we're going to go get some gas and then GNC and actually, you know what, I'm going to wait to get gas. I have half a tank, I'm fine. We're going to take this to Goodwill, GNC and then Target. Okay? Okay. Actually, there's a box right here to drop clothes, so that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Just drop them right here. GNC now, so I'm about to go in there. But I wanted to tell you guys what just happened. So I got finished at the eye doctor and everything, and. Pretty much the eye doctor was like, oh my gosh, your eyes look amazing, you know, from what they did. So, I, you guys know I'm diabetic, uh, type 2, and with diabetes, there is a chance of really messing up your eyes. <clears throat> it's called diabetic retinol. Luckily, um, I didn't do any damage to my eyes with diabetes, um, and he said if there is any damage, that it's not enough to do anything to my eyes. So... That's good. Everything looks great. He was really excited with my um, A1C and my blood sugar and all that kind of stuff. This is a mask my best friend got me. It says, be kind. Just so you guys know, they do sell build at GNC. If you guys want to try one bar before trying it, my code does not work here. But if you guys just want to try a single bar, this is the brand. So I just got done at GNC. I got the lit um, green apple one. Uh, they didn't have Redcon 1 at this specific GNC, which is fine. Um, I just didn't want to go to a different one, so I just got a different brand. And I've tried Lit before. I've tried the Gummy Worm, and I liked it. So, yeah, I'm going to order samples from Redcon 1 when we get home. Yeah, so I explained to her what happened at the other GNC. I just talked to the manager here. Yeah, can I talk to your manager? No, she was working already. And um, she said that that's not the first time somebody's told her that. And I was like, the reviews on this lady's GNC, and I guess that's the owner of the store. So, that's why she still works there, by the way. Um, that lady that was just, I can't even believe that. Um, she said that they actually get a lot of complaints from Avon Commons, which is where that GNC is at. So, that's interesting. So yeah, I'm going to run into Target now. It's across the street. <sighs> okay. So I didn't find anything for my sister. Um, however, I did find something for myself. So Target sells um, the Quest protein chips. And the only one I like is the taco one so far that I've tried. I did see at this GNC that they have different flavors that I haven't tried. So... When I go back to GNC to get a different pre-workout or something, I'm probably going to buy the different flavors. But it's $7.99 here. And right now, well, I don't know if it's going to be when you guys see this video, but there is a 20% off coupon in the Target app. So they're normally $7.99, and I just paid 6 something for them for four bags. And they're like almost $3 a bag. So... Your girl jumped on that. So I want to go home and order some samples. And then I need to stop spending money until I buy my sister's present. Which of course is just not going to work with me on opening. Okay. So all of this is black magic. So this is some pre-workout. I was scared that this wasn't going to be here in time. That's why I went and got that other pre-workout. Um, they sent me chocolate whey. Oh, 
ah oh, yes this is the one I wanted to try the chocolate peanut butter one uh, that has great reviews uh, lemon razzy pre-workout crystal blue pre-workout I think I got two of both of those yeah so I will link this down below as well if you guys also want to try them um, I found a ooh, blueberry muffin on her chata. I found a link for, I think, I think I paid like $5 for all this for samples. Um, so I will find that link again for you guys and put the link for this stuff in the description. So right now, check my emails real quick and then I'm going to buy some Redcon 1 samples. And I need to edit and get all that done, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I am looking at Redcon One's website and this Vice City one. I don't know what this flavor is, but I want to try it literally just because it says Vice City. Like, if you played Grand Theft Auto, you know Vice City is the best one out. Okay. I don't care what anybody says. Vice City was the best. Point blank period. Okay? Okay. So, um, if you were thinking about getting an espresso, like, I highly recommend it. Um, this coffee was like almost $6. It was like five something. Yikes. And an espresso, like, single coffee is a dollar. A dollar ten for some of them. Some of them are even 85 cents. So, and they taste so much better. I highly recommend better. it. I will link the Nespresso that I have on my like to know so that you guys can go check it out. So I made meatballs for dinner and I put my meatballs in like a sandwich form in a green pepper and it is so so good. I'm not low carb or anything but I personally like this because I can't really handle bridal like that. So and it's really good. It's delicious. So it is now Wednesday. Um, I am sitting in the parking lot waiting for my dad to come out from his doctor's appointment. I'm living for these uh, leather jacket moments. There's some guy watching me. Hi, sir. I live in this leather jacket now. I love it so much. Me and my dad went to this cute little like candy store. Um, I didn't take my camera with me, so sorry about that. If I can find the name of it. I think it was like Sugar Buzz or something like that. But it was like an old school candy store. Like they had everything set up um, like an old school one. And I got a kitty ice cream. And I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be able to eat like two more bites of this. And then I'm going to be done. But I decided to treat myself. I got, it was called Unicorn Dreams. It's like a sugar cookie one. And it's delicious. It's so good. Ready? Sit. <laughs> I swear to you, I have the world's most dramatic dog. He was seriously barking at me for throwing the ball. Not fast enough for him. Um, yeah, so that ice cream, I only ended up eating like a little bit under half of it. I really try to let you guys know that even after weight loss surgery, you're still able to eat stuff, okay? It's just... I normally, um, before I had weight loss surgery, before I even went through the counseling that I went through, I was a person that was like, oh, I can never have ice cream again. If I'm going to get it, it's got to be like, you know, this big thing and I have to finish it all. That's not the case anymore. I'm allowed to have ice cream every once in a while. You know, obviously we're not going to do it every single day, but you know what? If I want to have ice cream, I'm going to have some ice cream. And... I'm gonna enjoy it. So I did enjoy my, I had a little kitty scoop. This was like a tiny little scoop for a kid. And 
I didn't eat the whole thing and I feel like it's really important and I really need to stress to you guys that it's okay. Now I'm six months post-op if you are fresh out of surgery and if you're new I don't suggest eating ice cream. I, I suggest you follow what your nutritionist or dietitian gave you. However, I'm six months post-op. So half a scoop of ice cream, it's not gonna hurt me. I am still really, really sore uh, from my workout. I think it was a combination of me and my mom took Tanner for a walk and the trail that we went on was kind of steep as well as I did a full body workout. And whenever I do full body workouts, I really focus on my legs. I love anything weightlifting, so it's like weightlifting, but make it legs. Yeah, my entire body is sore though. It's not just that that part. And I am trying not to make my workouts so, so challenging to the point where you're sore like this. But I guess when I did the lunges, I'm guessing that's what did it. Um, lunges are a great full body exercise, but I just don't do them. Well, I was going to say enough, but I don't do them. So when I did them, it was working parts of my body that probably haven't been worked in a hot minuto. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to go study now. Okay. So we're looking at bikes. Okay. So I found these Takis, like beef jerkies at Walmart and I want to try them with you guys because I love Takis, but I try not to eat them because they're a slider food and it's, you know, beef jerky. Fuck it. I eat beef jerky all the time. So this is what they look like. It's a no for me. Um, it's got spice to it, but it doesn't really taste like a taki. It's like spicy, just with like a lot of lime. And takis actually have flavor, in my opinion. So, I don't know if you want to try them, try them. But to be honest, I don't like them. Happy Thursday. Look, I gotta show you some stuff, okay? So yesterday, I told you guys that... I was looking at a bike, right? I was at the store, I was looking at a bike, whatever. So, we went and bought some bikes. I was at Walmart, by the way. Um, if I can find the bike online that I got, I will link it down below. It's actually the one you guys seen me ride. I'm so, so excited. So my dad got a bike, I got a bike, and my mom got a bike. Um, and yeah, and then Tanner got, look at him, he's like, are we gonna go somewhere? He got one of, he got a little trailer <laughs> to go with us because he's gonna run next to us and we'll like have him walking and stuff. However, he might get tired and we wanna go for longer bike rides and stuff like that. So that's what we got for him is this little trailer thing. And he can sit in there. We already put him in it to see if he fit and all that. And he can sit in here when he's tired and stuff like that. So yeah. My mom got this bike, um, which is cute. I wish mine was pink like this, pink and black, but I got purple. Um, I don't know if like maybe my dad can color it because I don't really care, like spray paint it or like do something with it because I don't care for this color, but it's fine for now. So yeah, you guys remember when this shirt was like almost tight on me and now it's like a freaking dress. So I got a couple of packages as well and I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so you remember how I said I was waiting on an espresso package in like the last vlog. If you don't know, I have an espresso. My family's obsessed with it, okay? So we got our package, one of our packages in, because we my parents ordered two. Um we got Stormio, Bianco Legger, which is this part of Bianco Legger, double espresso. I don't know how to say that. Melozio, Intensio, Elvanzio, Odosio, and yeah. So this is my little haul from that. Nespresso, if you want to sponsor your girl, please hit me up. But yes, Nespresso in the long run is actually cheaper than buying Starbucks every single day or getting a coffee every single day. Um, the pods are like $1.10 and then creamer is probably like 3 to $4.00 per bottle and then if you want to add in milk like that can be three dollars too depending on where you get it from and what you get 
I have to get the more expensive kind. But in the long run, per cup, it's cheaper. So, yeah. I will have uh, the Nespresso that I have and some pods linked down below for you guys because they are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like, they literally taste better than Starbucks. And I love Starbucks. I love Dunkin' Donuts, but not anymore. They can't compare, and you get to control how much sugar is in them. Look, I will never get rid of the sugar in my coffee. That is my vice. That is one thing you will not see me get rid of. However, I do control how much sugar is in it. Like, I guess sometimes they put, like, a simple syrup in the coffee and all this kind of stuff that makes it, like, 30 grams of sugar, and you don't need that. You don't need that. So, I control how much sugar is in my coffee. There is sugar in my coffee, but I control it. Okay, so I also got a package from Sheen as well, which I'm going to show you guys the outfits real quick. And then I am going to get ready, do my makeup, and kind of, I got to make some TikToks. Um, so yeah, that's, right now we got to get ready, make some TikToks. So I got this cute set. So this is a shirt, which the shirt looks kind of small, I'm not even going to lie. This looks a little small for me. But I think it's supposed to be a crop top, so that's fine. I can wear a shirt under it um, if it fits. It says Superstar. Then it came, it was a set. It came with these leggings. You guys know I freaking love leggings. Oh my gosh. These are super cute. And it says gym at the bottom. I didn't realize that. Here we have like an undershirt that says Angel. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then we have a freaking jean jacket which this one I can try on ooh, ooh. so here's the jean jacket it fully closes so that's so cute put it right here real quick. this is what it looked like it's like a little cropped too that is so freaking cute I love this freaking cute Okay, so this goes over. Oh, this will go so cute with that angel shirt. So this is actually a dress. This is, um, I thought it was a skirt. I mean, you could use it as a skirt, but I like it. It's a dress. So I'm so excited to try that on. It's just some pants. I struggle with pants, finding pants. And Sheen's pants have been amazing for my body type. So yeah, they're just pants like that. Alright, so I just got done um, trying on... So if you guys want to see me try on the clothes, I will have the link to my TikTok down in the description, as well as the clothes posted on my like to know. Okay, so it's Friday, and we're getting ready to go on a bike ride. So we have all, all of our bikes in our gym because I live in a sketchy neighborhood and people might steal them. So we have them in here for the time being. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just like take my bike outside and just like ride around my neighborhood but like I said my neighborhood's kind of sketchy so sorry that was like really blurry I don't know what just happened so I'm thinking I want to take my bike to a reservation or something we have one like down the street however I don't know how to hook this thing up and I want to take Tanner I'm just scared that he's gonna get tired I think he'll be fine he's like super energetic so I don't know I guess we'll see so here's the fit for today just my Ouija board pants and then the dead inside shirt I haven't worn this in a while but I'm gonna wear another shirt I'm gonna wear like a my smile more hoodie or whatever because I don't want to get cold okay so I just opened my trunk and like if I get pulled over by a cop like obviously this stuff is fake um, but they're gonna be like are you okay all right so I'm like really annoyed because my bike doesn't fit in my car. I'm not like really annoyed, I don't care. I mean, I do, but I don't. Or maybe it was just the way that I was putting it in my car, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. So instead of going to a reserve, we're just gonna go um, around my neighborhood. Tanner has this cute little bag that he carries his stuff in. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna go. Okay, so I'm back from my bike ride. Okay, so I'm feeling the crop top right now, whatever. So that was such a fail, okay? 
I took Tanner with me because, I mean, he was good. He wasn't bad or anything like that. He was just a lot. I've never taken a dog on a bike ride before, might I add. So I ended up falling off the bike because um, Tanner ran in front of my wheel and it like yanked his collar, which made him yelp. So obviously, like I wanted to see what was going on with him, right? <sighs> well, I fell off my bike trying to do this. There was people walking by. It was embarrassing. And he was trying to like get up to me. Like he was like, he was being a baby, okay? He, he wanted his mom. So that was embarrassing. And then we have a, it's a shock, it's a shock collar, but it's like a vibrating shock collar. And we don't use the shock part of it ever. There's like a beeper and a vibrating thing. Vibrating thing is 100% enough for him to make him stop and snap his mind out of it because us just going eh eh or no or stop or whatever is not working. So we put this on him and he's like a total different dog. Well, the freaking collar died. And I decided to let him off his leash because he was acting like the leash was killing him. Um, when we weren't around people, by the way. And when I did that, he stayed by me. He was completely good. And then this person came out of nowhere. And he didn't, like, go up to them right away. But he did eventually. And, like, I had to get off my bike. And I had to, like, I'm so sorry. He's still a puppy. He's learning. I'm sorry. And it was just embarrassing. People make me nervous, especially around my child, because, you know, you never know if somebody likes dogs or not. They could, like, in my area, pull out a gun or something, and then I gotta fight them. So, like, I don't want to do that. It was just an experience of, okay, we're only gonna ride the bike at, like, a reservation or something. I need to figure out a way to get my bike in my car or buy a bike rack. Um, the other thing is, like, he doesn't really need the leash when he's walking, next to my bike, like he was totally fine. Um, especially with the beeper, when he was getting off track or something, I could just beep him real quick and it's it, all it does is beep beep and he completely he snaps him out of him real quick and he's ready to go. Um, so, like overall, I would say I would rate it like a seven out of 10. We had a few hiccups, but it was fine. I would do it again. All right, so I studied for a little bit and I just did the dishes, the dishwasher's running, and I'm making some coffee. We have a problem, okay? Our favorite is this Bianco Legger, that's why we have four of them. I will never run low on this again, okay? Ever. Uh, this Columbia is good. Their decaf is also freaking amazing. I don't really know anybody that's like, yeah, I like to drink decaf. And it's not even because it's got, you know, little caffeine. I'm drinking Intensio right now. So, Nas also, Nespresso has um, these chocolates, which I'm trying not to tip them out of the box. Um, one square is 35 calories. And you know, for me personally, after surgery, I don't need like a whole chocolate bar. When I'm craving chocolate, I just need one. Like one little square and 35 calories for one. Or I should say about 35 calories, it might be 40, but come on! And they taste delicious. I mean, it's not like sugar free or made with stevia or anything. So if you are like sugar intolerant after surgery, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't have a problem with sugar, like I do, unfortunately, then I recommend them. If you can handle just having one because it comes in a pack of 40, they have been a blessing, okay? A straight up blessing. Alright guys, well that is all I have for you for this week. We had a pretty good week. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend or week or whenever you're seeing this. And I hope you stick around. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because we upload a weekly vlog every single week. I love you guys so much and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.